Thank you, Ralph, and thanks for a very rich panel. Um, we were all furiously taking notes about uh, what we should do next. I think you'll all agree it was a day of very rich ideas, and I'm hoping that as in the best gatherings, you leave with more energy than you brought in. But we learned today that our energy has to be consequential and not just uh, give us a vibe or make us feel good. Uh, so I would also ask us, what will we do coming out of today? Uh, and I think one of the points that's the strongest uh, from the task force is that you need to collaborate around a vision and around a goal. Uh, and I, one of the subtexts for me in the morning that what is lacking uh, in the field of humanitarian action right now, not so much from the people who are uh, the foot soldiers in it, but from the world, is a lack of a vivid vision of success and a vivid vision of high performance from that system. Uh, you, you all are, are familiar with the quote that where there is no vision, there is no hope. This becomes a circular sort of situation. So if we are prisoners of hope, that hope needs to be the source of a vision to move forward. And I think we had plenty of beautiful elements of that today. When you think of Zainab and her idea about the importance of dignity, her, her idea about all of you being bridges as, as humanitarians. When you think of Walid and the importance of heart and conviction, the importance of being open to those that you might not know and whom you might fear. When you think of Alex giving a very positive image of, of refugees as contributors to economy and society and opportunity. When you think of Hadil and her unflinching candor and her belief in those at the, at the front lines, the local uh, actors who have not been well resourced in, in this movement. When you think of Mary Robinson and her emphasis on all of us thinking about what climate means for us and what our role is in addressing that. And when she thought and, and, and led us in thinking about the resilience of all the people that we work with and for. When you think of the laureates panel that was here and their emphasis on skills, capability, experience, analysis. When you think of Dave and his story of prevention. And when you think of our, our, our final panel here about the art and science of coalition building. Uh, and uh, again, a master class uh, and, and something that I think we need to move forward with. So I feel energized. I feel that uh, we have a lot of good work to do. I don't yet feel consequential in this, uh, in this area. And I think one of the things we need to do is develop that vivid vision of what success means. A vision that is so vivid that you not only see it, but you hear it, you feel it, you taste it. I think that was what was done in the expanded program of immunization. I think that's what's done in chasing down these neglected tropical diseases. I think that's the spirit we need to bring to humanitarian action. So drawing just a few lessons from the day, build trust. Uh, share that vivid vision once it's developed. Find partners and be a good partner. And tackle implementation with data, science, and conviction. Now, uh, I can... Uh, well, the Hilton Foundation is inspired by this. Knowing the coalition members, I imagine you are as well. Uh, and as I mentioned to you last night, I think we have homework to do. And I hope that when we come back together a year from now, and I, I would say that the wider family that's here as well, we will have progressed on that vision and become vectors for it. I'd like to join Ralph in, uh, in thanking all the speakers today, who I thought were tremendous. And I think we need to give Ralph another round of applause because this would have... <laughs> Ralph keeps us going and he keeps the narrative arc flowing even as we went from humanitarianism to public health to coalitions and back again. And a brilliant job as always. And I'd like to reserve a special thanks for my colleague Maggie Miller who was brought into this role in a way that no one would like to be but who rose to that challenge when we needed her to and has done a tremendous job pulling this all together. Thank you.